Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a screen replacement on an iPhone 6S Plus. This iPhone here is white, and as you can see, the glass is already cracked, and I'll be doing a replacement on this. So let's go ahead and turn off the phone. The next step you need to do is to remove the two screws from the bottom here. But before you, before you do that, I recommend you to have a safety goggle or some kind of protective gear to protect your eye because you do have this broken glass and sometimes when you try to pry it open or do the repair um, you do not want those broken glass to fly into your eye so make sure you have protective gear and protect your eye or your face alright so this prying tool here what I'm doing is I'm prying open the uh, the glass and at the same time is to cut the adhesive so there is a double sided adhesive that is taped all around the phone and you need to cut it in order to open up the phone so let's go ahead and do so by slightly cut it in while you're cutting it you just want to slightly pry it open push it out a little bit okay Okay, once you have that open, this is a regular Phillips screw, there are five of them, go ahead and remove them. Alright, so before I disconnect any cable, first thing you need to do is to remove or disconnect the battery. And the battery is connector is right underneath this bracket here. So first thing you need to remove the bracket and go ahead get a plastic prying tool and disconnect the battery. Alright, so this is your battery. Go ahead and disconnect it. And then the next step you can do is disconnect all this cable. All right, so this is your phone, the broken glass. Okay, the next step I'll be doing is to transfer this back plate to the new screen here. So this is a new screen. We, we will be transferring um, the back plate, the front camera, the ear speaker, everything over to the new, um, new screen. Alright, once you have the six screws removed, the next thing is to remove this bracket here. And this bracket is the one that is holding the uh, home button. So the two screws, remove the bracket, get this plastic prying tool, and separate the connector. Okay, so once you have that being separated, slowly and gently go underneath the the home button cable and push it on the other side okay and that's how you remove the home button 
and what we'll be doing is we'll be transferring this home button to the new screen as well okay so once that is done let's work on the camera and then there's one screw here on the side so make sure you have that and the back plate will just come right out okay just like that so this back plate can go to the new new screen here but before we do that we can disconnect this and get ready to transfer it over to the new screen so what I'm doing right now is I'm going underneath the camera okay so just to get this thing out and then the next step is to remove the cable okay as you can see I remove entirely this one here we can actually push it out and just like this okay that's how the camera cable looks like Alright, so now we can move this broken screen on the side. First thing I'll do is to install this back plate. The process for this screen replacement is actually not that difficult. Um, if you have, you know, the old phones and you're trying to fix it yourself, uh, it's a very simple weekend project that you can do. Probably it may take you 20 30 minutes. Just take your time step by step, slowly, no rush. Alright, so once you have that everything in place for the back plate, what I'm trying to do now is to align this cake connector in the right position like this. Where the home button is gonna go on top of it. Okay. Right, once you have that in, in the right position, remember to put the two screws back on. Okay, now you can come and feel the click the click looks good all right so the next step we'll be doing is transferring this
cable the front camera back to the new screen there is a little dimple if you can see right here the white dot so make sure you align it in the right position and it will just go on top and you can press this thing down while you're pressing it down make sure you have it in the right position and it sit flush right and then now you put the ear speaker in the right position like this and then close it okay while you're pressing it get the bracket and you need the bracket to go on top of it and it's holding everything down and go ahead and get the screw and screwed it in alright once you have that in the right place now we can come back here and finish the rest so this one here they are just like a Lego once you have them in the right position you can just press and it will snap onto that connector okay and the next step is to put the bracket back on So probably when you change the uh, the screen, your phone will not be water resistant anymore because at the very early stage we are cutting up the the seal, the water resistant seal, this black adhesive tape, we were cutting it to make the separation and we remove the broken glass. So right now the phone will, will not be water sealed and if you want to have that seal you may need to get the uh, you know that double sided adhesive tape and I think they do sell them on Amazon or eBay okay and I go ahead and press the battery so that the connector goes back in and then put the two screws back on here so you're almost there what you want to do is you want to align the top part you see how there's this little uh, what do you call like a grab right so you need to st stuck it underneath so make sure you grab tight on the top here and then slowly press it down okay you see how on all these broken glasses right it's very important that you have a safety uh, protective gear on you while you're working on this alright so that while the phone is turning on as you can see it looks good I'm putting the two screws back here okay yep all the touch is working so I hope this video helps and if you have any question just comment below I wish you all the best on the repair until next time take care